What is up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Shidukin, and welcome back to day number 112 of Project Main. And we are playing as Urgot in the top lane, and I don't know how to play these champions, so I want to go corrupting potion start. Because I think I once got destroyed in lane as Gangplank by an Urgot. Let's go over the uh, lane map ships real quick, and ironically, the enemy, te enemy team has a Thresh to carry this game in the video that. I'll link at the very end of this one is my Thresh Shady Carry game. But we did get a request to do a full crit Soraka, so that sounds, sounds kind of fun. Let's go over the matchups here. It's going to be me top as Urgot versus a Riven. In the mid or in the jungle is a Fizz versus a uh, Elise. Mid lane is Syndra versus a Vladimir. And in the bot lane is a Lucian Morgana versus a Thresh Blitzcrank. So the Blitz or Thresh Crank combo. It's pretty fun. I've done it a few times. Let's go over uh, Urgot's abilities here real quick. His passive is Zon Touched Bolt Augmenter. ZTBA, no acronym there. But Urgot's basic attacks and his Qs, Acid Hunter, um, reduce the target's damage by 15% for 2.5 seconds, so it makes Urgot kind of a slightly tanky champion in a duelist situation. Um, Q is Acid Hunter. You file a miss missile in just a line. Uh, however, if you have your E on an enemy champion, it's called Corrosive, or is it... Oh, it's any target. Um, if you have your E on any sort of uh, enemy, you can lock onto them using your Q. So it's basically like a, it's a homing missile. It's pre pretty cool. Uh, we're going to start our Q here. And then our W is Terra Capacitor. Um, we just gain a shield uh, that scales off of our max mana. But while the shield persists, our auto attacks and our Qs slow the uh, target. So there's that. Just going to go ahead and uh, lock up and auto the ribbon. So why not? Just gonna work on CSing here. Just gonna, just gonna zone her. See this little like fizzly animation? It kind of looks like a uh, damage over time effect. It's actually a uh, my passive, so basically I know that when that's up, Ribbon will do 15% reduced damage to me. And honestly, I kind of want to build like a Phantom Dancer because that would be fun. Oh shit! What the fuck. We're gonna take our uh, our E here, so I can demonstrate this. Tagged her with my uh, E, so I can use Q on her here in a second. Just smack her up a bit. I know Riven still is ignite, so I gotta be a little careful because I still have flash, but uh, I don't have teleport for three minutes. So let's try and stay in the lane for at least three minutes. Riven just hit all of her abilities. I just got all of them. She just watered the tri bush, so. Pick up our W here. Just, uh, we're gonna use our Q to get this siege minion. And we still have fucking missed it, because we're bad as shit. And she took a free tower shot. Good for us. I'm gonna get this minion. Death is the only escape. That's nice. Okay. Top egg. I prefer to stay in lane for uh, another, what, minute, 30 seconds? Is he just going to come back around? Because if I were. Oh, wait. I believe I should win this matchup. Jeez, baby. I'm slow as fuck. And it looks like our oh, Morgana got executed. Huh. Peculiar. I throw out my E here. Oh shit. Oh, one more. Okay, well.
Gonna pick up the uh, Cure the Goddess because we do want to stack it up as much as possible. Yeah. Raven's actually the only champion I have level 7 mastery with, so... It's actually not the hardest matchup for me right now. Of course, I suck at Urgot, so... That does something, but... Basically, once I hit level 6, she'll try to all-in me, because that's basically what all Riven mains, or all Riven players in general do. But, uh... Yeah. Also, I kind of expected Fizz to go in after she used all of her abilities on me, but I guess he just kind of wussed out. Just gonna work on CSing here. My CS is actually better than hers, oddly enough. She went for Warhammer first, pretty standard. Let's see. Like, he's a pretty spammable ability. So we're gonna use it as much as we can. Just to, uh, kinda get used to it. Smack her with a Q. Smack her with another Q. Smack the CS with a Q. Farm with the Q. This could try and come in for a lane gank. Or he could do nothing. Okay. And looks like Syndra died to Vlad. So what's my Q cooldown? Two seconds? Is there a jungler release? Alright. Oh, there's no way Vlad's sticking around that long. So. Ward up everywhere. Just do I stay safe? I don't flash for a bit, so I'm actually kind of fucked if Riven does go on me. Unless I can win the fight. I honestly don't know. I haven't had to play Urgot, uh, the Riven Urgot matchup before. So I have no idea. I mean, that I can tag her with my E. Or my. Hmm, okay. Tiger with my E, smacked her down with Q a little bit. Flashes up in a minute. My E's up in two seconds. Lane is warded. I haven't explained what my ultimate does, so I'll do that right now. My ultimate is Hyperkinetic Precision Reverser. Basically, I suppress an enemy champion, and uh, while there's a, er, let's see, let's let's go over what exactly this ability does, because I'm actually not particularly sure. Target an enemy champion channels Hyperkinetic Precision Reverser, swapping location with a target afterward and terrifying nearby enemies. Uh, target is suppressed for the duration of the channel. Then Urgot takes 30% reduced damage for 5 seconds beginning at the start of the channel. Target is s slowed by 40% for 3 seconds after being swapped. So it actually is pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go for this and this, and we'll buy one of these. Okay. 
Uh, what the hell? Looks like Thresh Crank's actually pulling off some stuff. Uh. Ooh, that was close. Alright, we're gonna go for the uh, Black Cleaver here. Just because I like some CDR. Probably gonna go. Not Frozen Heart this game. <laughs> I like it says it's finish 40% CDR. I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe I'll go like a ribbon ish build, but with throwing in some mana. She has no ignite. I do know that. Uh, her flash is up. My ultimate is probably. Yeah, her ultimate is on a shorter cooldown than mine. So I gotta be a little careful. And she's running 10% CDR. No, she has 10%. This is gonna push towards me, so I can kinda just chill in the back for the time being. Kinda try and pug her down if I can. CS, uh, one thing about my E is it actually does increase the range of my Q when I can lock onto targets. Alright, my ultimate's up in 5 seconds, so my passive reduces damage by 15%, plus my ultimate is 30, so 35 or 45% reduced damage is, uh, pretty good, especially versus, like, a ribbon. Why did my screen just go wonky? I don't know why she tried to keep fighting me. But, alright, I'll take it. Free kills for the uh, Argot. So basically, Argot's not really. He's not an AD carry, he's an AD caster. So, using my Q is basically how I pump out all my damage. So, as long as I keep spamming Q, I should keep killing, right? See, Raven went back for that. I'm gonna go back and buy a serrated dirk. So it'll oh, not a serrated dirk. Should I buy? Damn it! I don't have enough for that. I'm, I'm an idiot. Back in time. Uh, we're gonna work towards our. Uh... No. I kind of just want to wait for. 30 gold. This is really, really dumb of me to do. I could have literally gotten one minion and then uh, stay in lane, but holy shit, I'm actually up in CS quite a bit. But now that I've talked so much, I'm just going to wait and then teleport back to lane, or maybe I'll... Uh... Oh, there's no shutdown. Yeah. No tower gold, nothing. So I'm going to start uh, channeling my ult, or teleport, by a uh, phage, and we'll head back to lane. She'll probably think that I didn't use my teleport, because I took a little, little, little long time to get back. But, uh... uh... I haven't seen their least top at all. Which is kind of weird, because usually you want to try and help the Riven out as much as you can. Let's see. My ultimate is up. Hers is most likely up as well. Because what? She, how much CDR does she have? Oh, she's going for Yomu's first. That's a little odd. Let's try and tag her with E real quick. Wait till she goes for that. Yeah. So basically, the homing mechanism is point and click. You just hover over and click Q. Shit. Hmm. She's being very, very passive. Which is really annoying. Damn, I missed. Alright, so they picked up a kill on Vlad. My team's doing alright. Um, hey, I snagged her with that. Nice shot me. Alright. Oh, I didn't want to target that. Looks like Elise is mid. So, she just hit level 10. Alright, Elise is still mid. Good for me. Let's creep block though. Let's take it. Okay, we'll use this to uh, farm. Oh damn, the t uh, timing ran out. Alright, 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 alright. Raven's mid. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Thank you. 
One thing that's funny about this is I can use it from out of tower range just to poke the shit out of her. Honestly, her got pretty fucking huge lane bully. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was playing as Gangplank against an Urgot. It was literally the most tilting experience ever. Alright, so they already got first blood tower gold, so I'm not really worried about pushing this down as fast as possible. What's my, uh, pad? Oh, not bad, actually. Basically using my Q every, uh, four like twice, basically whenever it comes up to farm. Looks like Vlad's roaming top, so I'm just gonna back off right now. Back off, buy my Black Cleaver, work towards probably some tanky boot. Uh, they have a lot of AP on their team. Riven has a lot of AD, or physical attack. Um, but yeah, I'll go for some Merc Treads actually. They reduced the uh, stun duration plus the uh, MR. It'll be helpful, like Cocoon, Stun, Silence, Hook. Yeah, might as well. I'm gonna snag a pink ward because mine just got taken out. And fuck it, I'll uh, upgrade my trinket. My Raven's at 88 CS, I'm at 113, I'm up a kill. And she's actually going for a weird ass build. Alright, she just hit level 11, she got a tiny little power spike. Let's go ahead and throw a blue trinket. Let's oh, fuck it, let's put it in the try. Got it. Just auto attack. Now Shriven's doing one thing incorrectly. She's actually being extremely passive. Whereas she can be using her E to CS pretty effectively. Although if I do tag her with my E, I guess uh I guess that would be kind of awful for her. Because if I throw my W on, it would uh, slow her and just basically have me stick to her. God, this is just farming for days. I don't need my uh, E. He does a little bit of damage. Oh shit, there's a Thresh and an Elise. I'm fucking out, boys. <laughs> okay. Ow. 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 Jesus Christ, that CC train. Yes. Fuck you guys. Damn. 
Oh, that was awful. <laughs> Raven's missing. I have my ult up. There's the Raven. She needs to stop trying to fight me. Oh shit. So yeah, basically the reason we ulted right there was to uh, decrease the damage the Riven did to us, which was pretty significant actually. This is almost stacked and I don't even have a mana mean yet, or mirror mana. He's gonna get hasted! Ah, oh, you're dead. Oh, there's a fizz! Oh, why are you so fucking squishy? Holy shit. Okay, we need 20% CDR somehow. How are we gonna get it? I'm thinking of Yomu's Death Dance, that sounds fun. I could have gotten uh, CDR boots actually. That probably would have been more effective. Although the silences on this team are annoying. Well, he's a he's a hemo man, hemo club mancer, whatever. He's a bloodbender. Holy shit! That did a lot of damage. All right, I got my ultimate now. Raven has no chance of fighting me anymore. Hello. As long as she tries to go on me. She can't fight me. I don't think anyone in this team can currently fight me 1v1. Even the Fed Thresh. Because AD Thresh, as we saw in our previous video, it's a little more of a burst rather than consistent damage. And with his build right now, it's, it's alright. Okay. Oh, my E reveals. I did not know this fact. Holy shit, my CS is fucking huge. They're coming for me. I'm running. Maybe they're not coming for me? Eh, whatever. I'll back him by this. No one's building armor yet. So, armor pen would be pretty good, but also a little bit of sustain would be nice, I must say. Bolt's up in 10 seconds, which means I can fight the Raven again. Uh, my passive still is 15%. My ultimate does scale up. It's at 40% reduced damage now. I'm guessing at level. Uh, level 3 ultimate, it's going to be 50%, which means 50 or 65% reduced damage from single target. It'll be pretty strong, especially versus like an assassin. Just busy farm and top. Fuck it, I'll use my, Q, or my E. What's up, baby?
Okay, we can push this in now. Pop these health potions here. Oh, wait. We're gonna. No thanks. Simply predictable. Is this up? Nope. Oh. I'm gonna sell this because I don't quite need it. Oh fuck, never mind. I'm not gonna sell it because it doesn't give me as much gold as I wanted. Alright, 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 alright. Holy shit. She is up there, I must say. Um, Ravens is also catching up though, so she's gonna be a small problem. I have my ultimate. She is top lane. Hi. Just fucking do it. I got it, boys. I got the dragoon. Oh shit. Come on. Fizz, what the fuck are you doing, man? Thank you! One more auto. Thank you. And fox your problems. Teleporting top, because this is a lot of farm. I can auto Q. Hey, level ult. Yeah, level 3 ultimate is 50% damage reduction. Not too shabby. And now we can buy a death dance. So we're probably going to stay out for a little bit more gold. Shit. That was beautiful. Alright, let's see if I can proc this. Wow, didn't even aggro anyone. It means no one's near. Raven I can kill. So I'll, uh... I'll wander top. She's got 40% CDR, a little bit of lifesteal, but... I have a lot of damage reduction. A lot of damage reduction.
Mountain drag. This thrash is doing better than this ribbon. I'm gonna go top. Fuck, I'm slow. My legs look so derpy. Herp -a derp -a derp. But our god is crab god is beautiful. Get out of here. Hi Blitz. Bye Blitz. Alright, I need a uh, 300 more gold so I can buy a coffee old war hammer to max out my CDR and uh, boot or uh, my death stance at the same time. So, working on that. We should be able to take all three jungle camps here real quick. I believe I got uh, bolt supply on hit effects, but I can't be positive about that. I, actually, no, they don't. They don't. Because they're uh, definitely not ability or auto attacks. They're abilities. Oh, what the fuck was that Q? I'm back. Buy my Warhammer, buy my Death Stance, and uh, teleport. Or oh, shit. Can't teleport. Hey, Raven. How you doing, honey? It's funny. Now I'm gonna back. Buy my Warhammer. Buy my Death Stance. It's only gonna have 56 second cooldown. That is pretty freaking good. Oh wait, I didn't know. I guess it's damage to me, not a target. But that's. It's effectively the same thing. So, what was I gonna buy? I think I did want to get a Yomu's. But I also want this thingy, real quick. Because fuck this Vladimir. Oh dear god. Oh, no, I'm teleport. Fuck me, mate. Oh, that's a dead ass team. I'm on my way! I'm fat as fuck, holy shit. Got that 40%. Get your fucking heal reduction, you bitch. Fight! Nergat? Eh. <laughs> what a Nergat. <laughs> I think that's what he meant to say. <clears throat> Why did I just get slow with Super Fast? Fizz, why the fuck are you tanking this shit?
Chunk! Damn. Started out of 3, now we're here. 4, 4, 14. Alright, it's not bad. Did I just one shot that minion? Damn. Alright. 2100 or 1900. Either or. Preferably 2100. And 300 gold. And they're coming. Bye. They're all coming. The British. They're coming. <laughs> I back. I buy. I teleport. Irene. And I choose you! Fuck you, Riven. Bitch. I'm dancing. Hey, I'm in the inhib, or a nexus. Nice! Hey, hey, ole. Well, Urgot is actually kind of funny to play. <laughs> S minus. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, so we, uh, 8, 3, and 3, uh, 243 CS. Mm, damn. Not the most in the game, but damage health to champs. Yeah. Damage health overall? Yeah. Healing done? Damage taken. Damage taken. Took less damage than Lucian. Hey, it's what's up. But. Okay. That was playing Ergon in the top lane. I have very mixed feelings about that, because. He's very mobile. He. Is a man champion. But he can spam his Q quite a bit. And his damage reduction is fucking hilarious. So. I don't know. Maybe I'll play him a little bit more because he's he's kind of funny, and he actually could kind of carry a little bit, as you saw a little bit. And his range is if you range your land your E. I don't know. I don't know. It's Ergot's weird ass champion, but he's kind of interesting to play. But yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling as usual. Thank you all very much for watching day number 112 of Project Main. Please check out the ones that I have done, subscribe, and stay tuned for the ones I will do in the future. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.